Hi lovely people, today we are styling western boots. These, to be precise. So if you have seen my capsule wardrobe video, my fall capsule wardrobe video, you will already have seen these boots. These are the two pairs of western boots that I own and I have both a quite old pair as well as a newer pair. And I am going to be styling these in today's video. So a little bit about these boots and about me wearing them. I have owned these for eight years now. Yes, I actually went back and looked at when I bought these. It's been eight years. I got these when I was 18 years old. These are a pair of Justin boots. They are a beautiful dark green though. When I got them, they definitely were a bit more of like a teal color. They have gotten quite a bit darker over the years. And you can definitely tell that I have worn these, that these are worn and loved, but they do still have quite a bit of life in them. I did resole them a gazillion times. And for about, I wanna say three years, these were my main boot for fall, winter, and even a good bit of spring. Like I wore these, almost every single day and I love them. So great, great boots, I'll be selling those. And then a newer boot that I got are these. So these are a pair of Nakona boots. I got these secondhand through Vinted and I only got these last month. So I'm really excited to wear these. Since I got the green boots basically, I have been wanting to add a brown pair of boots because I feel like it's just a super versatile color even though in my wardrobe, the green is quite versatile as well. And I got these secondhand because I am a vegetarian. I do not buy new leather items anymore. I have not for years, but I don't mind getting them secondhand because that way I'm not directly supporting the leather industry and I'm basically giving a item that would otherwise go to waste a second home and it just to be loved and worn a lot, lot more. So I am okay with buying them secondhand, just not new. Also a little tip for shopping your own western boots secondhand. I would definitely recommend checking out Vinted for these. There were so many good boots on there, honestly. You can just select your size. And what I found was really helpful is actually looking for a specific brands on there. So there's a couple of brands that I know make beautiful, high quality Western boots. And then looking for those, see if you can find something in your size and in a style that you like. That way you know that you're going to get a very nice high quality item but one for a really affordable price and two you're not buying new leather items which as you know i way prefer <laughs> and i want to say that a good pair of western boots that fits you right is probably one of the most comfortable boots that you can possibly get might also depend on like the heel height and the toe shape of them but they are a great great boots and they last you so long if you take proper care of them so even though it's not feeling like fall at all as <laughs> when i'm filming this it is a boiling in the netherlands it is 30 degrees and that's inside it's insane <laughs> so <laughs> <laughs> probably should have filmed a styling western boots for a summer video rather than a fall version but fall is coming up soon so that's why we are styling the western boots for fall okay so the first outfit that i put together are with my green justin boots i wanted to style these just very classic with a pair of jeans tucking them in a little tip if you want to tuck your jeans in and you have a little bit of trouble with this tuck your jeans into your socks first and then put on your boots. It's gonna make it uh, a lot easier. <laughs> also for them to stay tucked the way that you want. So I'm wearing this with, with a little white tank top underneath and then a heavier button up on top in a very similar color to the boots, which I think looks really nice. The next outfit that I have for you is mostly the same outfit. I'm wearing the same green boots with my Nudie jeans, these are a straight leg jean, though they are definitely more of a slimmer straight leg, I'd say. 
And I'm wearing that with my Cezanne Berry cardigan in this beautiful mint color. I love that color and I love that cardigan. <laughs> so I'm basically wearing the cardigan as a top here, having them front tucked into the jeans and that's the outfit. Another outfit with jeans and green boots, this time wearing just the button up on its own. I don't have it tucked here because it is a slightly shorter silhouette, so I don't feel like it's as necessary with this blouse in particular, but you could definitely tuck it in if you like that. The next outfit is a little bit more unexpected, I want to say. Um, I am wearing my brown Nakona boots with a linen button-up, which I love. A similar colored pair of trousers. So these are a white leg pleated trouser, which I love wearing. And actually, I don't see that many outfits combining trousers with western boots. And I don't know why. Because really, a pair of trousers goes great with any type of slightly more pointed boot I feel like so why not pair it with a western boot I actually really like this outfit it makes it feel a little bit less westerny cowgirly I guess and less expected and I really like this because when you move you definitely see the little details of that western boot which I love so much it's one of the reasons that I love my western boots as much as I do then we have a little outfit here with my green western boots and I'm wearing that with my Lisette corduroy trousers. These are a boot cut trouser which of course works great with western boots <laughs> but they are in a corduroy fabric which I really like and it gives them just a little bit of a twist compared to like a jean boot cut and makes it almost a little bit more chic I want to say. And then I'm wearing that with my Cezanne Leontine sweater which I love that jumper so much. <laughs> All right, so then we are sparing my beloved Sonde Fleur Elisa dress, which is a beautiful linen dress. I did an entire video on this dress, so if you like to check that, I'll make sure to have it linked up in the cards as well as down in the description box if you're interested in that. So I think this goes beautifully with my green boots. They are essentially the same color, just a very different texture. I love mixing my textures, as you might have already seen in this video. I love a good texture in my outfits, more so than a print typically. So I'm wearing that and then I am wearing my brown belt just to break it up a little bit <laughs> and I love this outfit. I am going to wear this so so much this fall, I can already tell you that. And then I want basically to try the same outfit but with my brown western boots and I think this works beautifully as well. It's not as elongating because it's a different color than like the green of the dress. So it's not as much of like a ongoing elongating silhouette with the similar color of the shoe and the dress. Here it is broken up a little bit more but I still really like it because you're basically sandwiching the green with the brown with the green with the brown of the boots and I really like that effect here. So I think that works pretty good as well. Another outfit very similar to the one that I wore with my corduroy trousers. Here I am wearing my mud jeans. These are a very dark gray Jean. These are a straight leg, but a slightly wider straight leg. These work really well worn over the boots instead of them tucked in. And again, I am wearing that with my Cezanne, a Leontine jumper. And I actually think this looks even cuter with the jumper tucked in a little bit, so right option there. So the next outfit is another favorite of mine. I will be wearing this so, so much. I already know that. I am wearing my green Justin boots with that same pair of mud jeans. And then I'm wearing my Cezanne Gaspar cardigan on top. I am wearing it close up to the buttons in the back. So it's more like a jumper and it's so, so cozy. And I think the green of the cardigan goes beautifully with the green of the boots. And it's just a very simple, but still kind of chic I feel like outfits yeah I really love this next up let's style a midi skirt sorry I feel like the outfits might have worked a little bit better if either the skirt was a little bit longer or the boots were a little bit higher taller because now you kind of have a little bit of an awkward cut between the skirt and the top of the boots so I'm not really loving that but 
I do still like these outfits even as they are. They just kind of cut off my legs in a bit of a weird way <laughs> with them being essentially the same line. So first outfits I am wearing my light blue midi skirt with my brown Nakona boots and then I'm wearing a brown belt to bring back the brown into the outfit and I'm just wearing a white top with my Cezanne Betty cardigan on top in this beautiful light purple color which I love. I really like that this cardigan is a little bit more cropped and it's a nice soft little cardigan and I love that so so much. Then another one which I feel like is a little bit more chic again the same boots with that mini skirt but I am wearing a nice sleek turtleneck with it. It's a navy turtleneck so it looks a little bit more polished maybe and again I feel like putting on that belt instantly pulls the entire outfit together beautifully and I love this outfit and cannot wait to wear this honestly but it definitely needs to cool down a little bit more before I actually can comfortably wear a turtleneck <laughs> And then let's style some maxi dresses. I love these outfits. So I love a maxi dress with a western boot. It's such a classic outfit and it works basically every time just like a mini dress which I don't own because I don't like to wear so I'm not able to show you those but mini dresses look super cute with a western boot but sorry I feel like two maxi dresses. So I'm starting off with this Bellamy Gallery linen maxi dress. I am wearing that with a little slip and then the brown Anagona boots. With that again the same brown belt to kind of pull the whole thing together as well as cinch in the waist a little bit which I like with this dress. And I think that's just a super cute outfit. So because it is more of a button dress with slits on the side, you definitely do show a little bit more of the boot, which I like about this. So then the next one is this beautiful Sahana dress by the brand Daughters of India. I love their dresses, wearing one of them right now. <laughs> I think this looks really nice with my brown Nakona boots. Again, wearing that with my brown belt to pull in the waist a little bit and also pull back in the brown of the boots. So these boots have blue and white stitching on them, which I think looks stunning with the blue and white print of this dress. So I love that combination because when you're moving around, you're kind of going to see some flashes of that beautiful stitching and it works beautifully with this dress. And then I kind of wanted to see if this would also work with a jumper on top because we're getting into fall so it's we're gonna be getting some cooler weather and I'm not exactly someone who likes to wear a short sleeve if it's cold because I'm cold very easily even though I wouldn't say so right now with the sweater um, so I wanted to try it with my Leontine jumper again I kind of front tucked it into the belt so it wouldn't completely swallow me <laughs> because this is quite a voluminous outfit with a fairly voluminous a jumper, a very voluminous skirt and then a pretty chunky boot. There's a lot of volume in this outfit so don't know if this really works. Might also be really cute with that petty cardigan, I don't know. Yeah, if I wanted to I could wear this. I don't know if I really am going to be wearing this out. But still wanted to share it with you. And that, lovely people, are all the outfits that I have for you in this video. So I have been thinking, maybe I could do a similar video for winter and maybe for spring. If that's something that you're interested in, do let me know. So let me know, do you wear western boots? How do you like to wear yours? Do you like that whole cowgirl look? Or do you maybe prefer to style it in a way that is maybe a little bit less typical cowgirl <laughs> and a little bit more unexpected. Honestly, I don't mind either of those. I like both. So yeah, let me know what you thought of these outfits. Which one would you wear? Which maybe would you absolutely not wear? I would love to hear your opinion. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it was helpful for you or you at least enjoyed it. I wish you a lovely rest of your day and I will see you in my next one. Bye!